Hey guys, it's Phonics from Archon Esports and me and Dave are bringing you a 1v1 cast on Cloud Kingdom. It is between our blue Terran player Moo Ooh. in the top right position and in the bottom left position we have our red Protoss player Shren. This was uploaded by Moo <laughs> to was. cast it on Reddit. Yep. So we uh, we thought we'd uh, take a go at it. Yeah, cool. Um, I always like to cast stuff on um, the casting forum, cast it. It's really, really nice, really good community. Mm. Yeah, Good really. times. Yeah. Always good. And we can't resist a game on Cloud Kingdom. Oh, absolutely not. Yeah. I really like Cloud Kingdom, I actually. love this yeah. map. It's so good. It's one of my faves. Mm. Like, without a shadow of a doubt. So we do see Moo doing the kind of common Terran blocking against things that aren't other Terrans. Mm. Um, the two supply depot and barracks, or at least one can only presume that the barracks is going to go situated nice and snug in the middle there. Hmm. Oh, crikey, turn that panel off. Awesome. Right. So, things on this map that Protoss and Terran are doing at the moment. Well, Protoss are taking... They're doing the sign of the One Gate Nexus expand build, maybe taking a fast third, trying to defend it with a uh, kind of a gateway-based army off quite a lot of gateways until they can tech up a bit. And um, Terran are kind of doing the same sort of thing. They're expanding off that one barracks, getting the... Uh, maybe going for the fast third, but often... Terran is going to go for a push a little bit faster than a Protoss would, but yeah. um, they do like to get to that maxed army value and yeah. push into your base. Just bringing it back to Cloud Kingdom for a second. This map is awesome for two reasons. The first reason is because it's got an awesome name. It kind of sounds like something out of Super Mario. In fact, if Cloud Kingdom was a level in Super Mario, I would totally believe it. Yeah. Just saying it. Just saying, you know, that's pretty cool. Secondly... Oh, where's Sky Shark on? Space Shark. I, I don't think either this is not the right version, or you can't see it unless there's a unit there. Ah. But it is a sad day. It is a sad day. SCVs so, have a high five. <laughs> pass by each other. This and probe wants to be really, really sad really, about yeah. getting in. The probe wants to be really, really careful. Otherwise, he will get uh, rifled in the face by a marine that is but just coming out now. But unfortunately, gets out of there at very prop yeah. timing. The probe doesn't look like he will be slain today. He'll be on his way, making his back, on his way back, making his way across the desolate wasteland to the Zelnaga Tower. And the Zelnaga Tower, of course, is very important on this map because basically, you know, when the Terran leaves his base or wh whoever is in the top right position leaves their base, they're probably going to be seen by this Zelnaga Watchtower if they come down this main ramp just here. We do have a reactor on that barracks for Mu, which is um. You may not usually see that kind of thing. They usually wait a bit because uh, reactors take a while to they take a while to build. And if if the Protoss moves across up the ramp with the Zealot and Stalker, then if you've not got that many Marines, it can be a bit dangerous. But he's gone for that reactor, double Marine production. Maybe wants to stick it on, uh, keep it on that low tech. Yeah. Get that expansion up nice and quickly. Absolutely. And we do have two more gateways. Just sorry, Ooh. three more gateways uh, going down here. So it does actually look like Shuram will be doing a four gate push. Something we haven't seen for a while, Yeah, certainly. actually, I don't think I've casted a foregate for a very long time, indeed. Um, so we can probably expect to see a move out around the six-minute mark, maybe seven-minute mark, from our Protoss player right about now. Um, or well, uh, in the future. And there is the proxy pylon as well, which is, of course, very, very important indeed. So this is going to be pretty interesting. It does actually look like Shuren has stopped pro production right now as well. So he's definitely going to commit to this. And it'd be really interesting to see whether or not Mu is actually ready for this. He has cut at 20 probes, so it's the official four gate. He's even got a command center coming down, so this is going to be a difficult hold for Mu. Yeah, really difficult. So he's, he's actually done a very nice build against it, maybe by accident, maybe completely on purpose. But he's getting a lot of Marines out at a time. He's He's got two more SEVs than his opponent, plus Mule, so he, if he holds, he's going to be ahead. Command center's on the way. He's getting Marauders now. Hmm. But that's a lot of stalkers coming up now. Moo's scouting has been really good. This SCV has been down here for most of the game. He's the most touristy sightseeing SCV that there ever was. <laughs> Indeed, yeah. He's, he's got the t-shirt and the map and the camera. Mm. But, I mean, this is looking out. This is looking to be a pretty threatening push, but that bunker oh. is really going to help Moo. As soon as that goes up, I don't think there's going to be much that Shrine can do to this. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Good bunkers. scouting by Moo and, yeah, good game awareness. Yeah, bunkers up against. Really, really, uh, used to lower that, close that supply depot. 
Oh, oh that might be... He doesn't get it. No, that's um, that's, that's a... unfortunate, because now the bunker is not going to be really in play. He can pick off the reactor, which took such a long time to build. He's going to have to unload a pull SEVs to him to hold this, and that's an excellent position for those stalkers pressed against the wall. And I don't know if he's got enough to hold this. He's losing a lot of SEVs. Definitely the damage, the damage to Moose economy is going to be quite large from that as well. But closing the supply depot afterwards, it trapped all those stalkers in, which potentially could have got out. And after that, he is down to 17 probes, so he did lose 5 in that engagement. In that engagement, yeah. I think he's, he's got, got 7 in total. He's somewhere. got the command centre up, though, so he's got double double SEV production. Mm. Um, but Moose started, uh, Shren sorry, has started his probe production again. He's built added 3 more on. and Yeah. He might just go for a bit of a contain and try and hold Moo from taking this base for as long as possible. Absolutely. I think maybe that's the best that Shren can kind of can do make out at of the this. moment. Yeah. It's going to be very dangerous for him to push up this ramp now that um, Supply Depot is in the upright, or some might say erect position. Some might say that. <laughs> some might say that. <laughs> Indeed. Oh dear. Oh dear. Stim oh dear. coming down now for Moo. More of a de uh, defensive upgrade if he was going for some sort of push, he'd be getting the combat shields and the concussive shells, but that starport coming up now, reactor. It's pretty transitioning to standard play. Yeah. Real He's nice. coped very well with that. I think so, and it, I, I'd like to see some drop play off me, really. That'd be really cool, um, just to kind of pop around. I mean, if a drop was to take place in the next three minutes, Shuren would be up in very, very deep water. Very deep water indeed, so... The only benefit of having those four warp gates now, though, is he can warp in quite a few units, more than he would be able to normally if, uh, if he'd only gone for, say, something like a three-gate three gate pressure. Mm. Doesn't like Moo is itching to move out that command centre, but there's he quite a lot He wants to take it so much. Yeah. But... There is quite a lot of Protoss units out there just waiting for Marina Marauder blood to be all over them. I think he may, he may decide to push out just as Stim finishes, yeah, the, and he gets a couple of medevacs out. The good men and women of this factory are probably going to be uh, shocked to see there is a large Protoss detachment down there. Trying to scare the Protoss units away with those flying buildings. Yeah, absolutely. If only buildings could land on things, that would be that would be just fine. It would be just fine. It would be <laughs> just fine <laughs> indeed. Just, just crush fine. that entire <laughs> army with that command set. <laughs> Part of the swarm, they need to add it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So we do have Shuren taking another um, expansion down here in his natural position, which is a perfectly natural thing to do, I mean, I think, really. Um, he has a nice impact contain on his opponent, um, and he's also going and getting his robotics to fade down as well. Um, so it doesn't look like he'll be transitioning into either the Observer Warp Speed Upgrade mm. or Colossus. Yeah. He could be going for warp prism speed. Some some people do that, but against Zerg usually, not usually against the uh, mm. the Terran. And we see now that uh, even though he did do a four gate, Shren's got a lot of um, he's got you know it's a good pro count for doing a four gate. So it's kind of all in. It's pretty uh, it's pretty tough to get your economy back up and running from that. But he is holding Mu in his base for a very long time now, and um, yeah, it's kind of paid off for him. Absolutely. Oh, and here is a nice drop round. Oh, and that's a savage pincer attack from Mu. Very nice. Force fields were pretty bad. They actually helped Mu's forces against those zealots, and that should be a pretty easy clean up for Mu here. Absolutely. Oh, maybe should have brought those zealots in. Maybe not work. Though. Maybe not. I mean, I can... he's after that marauder. He wants that marauder. Is he gonna? Oh, he oh. does get it. Oh, so <laughs> close. He is gonna be annoyed. That was a very nice attack from me, really nice breakout, a nice pincer, and making sure the Protoss units have nowhere to go, they can't kite anything backwards. Using and as that you say, medibacks to, uh, yeah. is very nice. But, Shren's got a good pro count now, he's 39 to 28, and he's got a really good economy going, so... Yeah, I mean, he did quite a lot of damage to Moo's economy with that. He um, did, and I feel that Moo's build may have been a little bit disrupted, he's sitting on quite a lot of minerals at the moment. Moo might also want to kill this pylon off. There we go. Cool, we're all good. Excellent. But yeah, I totally agree with what you're saying. When uh, the force fields came down, they almost hindered Shuren's army. Mm. Um, they literally cut, just made it a really nice little choke from who's uh, <laughs> from who there. But yeah, absolutely. First Colossus out now on the field. Thermal lines going down. But I mean, if we look at how much kit per se our two armies have here, Moose heavily favours at the moment. 
I mean, well, most strengths pretty. It's going to be really yeah. Well. I mean, Shuren has 11 more probes than um, Mu, and that could contribute towards the supply discrepancy. But you've also got this rather large Terran army coming. Look at the, the units for Shuren. He's got four Zealots, one yeah. Colossus, and two Stalkers. He's chronoing those ward gates like a madman, trying to get enough units out to defend this. And I really don't know if he's going to be able to. I think he knows that maybe his time is nigh. It looks a bit worrying. It does. He needs a few more. He needs sentries to, be able to cut that army up. But I don't. He doesn't even have any. Yeah. I think Moose destroying this here just in case he gets force fielded in that little gap there. Maybe stimming and running up there sincerely for that matter. Boom! Down goes the pile, and unfortunately those stalkers get cancelled. Full refund right there. Nice kiting there from Moo, just dragging back those zealots, trying not to get hit by that colossus too much. He doesn't have any Vikings out at the moment, but he's got a lot of marauders, and marauders are extremely good against single colossus. Indeed. Pretty heavy stim there by Moo. They want to be Run careful in. in this choke here. Ooh, saves that Colossus really nicely, but he is losing probes by the second. Another Colossus joins the fray, and it does look like this will be enough to get Moo's army to back off right about now. Um, but uh, I can see why Moo went for it. Yeah. Like, without a shadow of a doubt, it was a good call. But it was a really good hold by Shren. Although he did, he, he's now even now on yeah. workers. They are even now, with probably the Terran a little bit ahead due to mules. Yeah. That scouting factory for a short while became a combat factory, uh, being intimidating <laughs> as ever. If only there was an upgrade to add guns to them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I should really stop thinking of more ways to make Terran powerful. Oh, yeah. Well, to make factories even better than they actually are. So we do have Mu expanding right about now as well. Hooray! And it does look like perhaps Shuren is also expanding. So both players expanding at exactly the same time. Um... That's pretty cool. And also, both of our players are fairly even in the work account. 46 for Mu and 43 for Shuren right about now. Another Colossus joining Shuren's army as well. That factory does not have long left to live. Oh, but is it going to get away? If it gets onto the high ground, it could have... And it's yeah. not burning, so I think it's all right. Awesome. The, uh, the people who work on that factory must be happy, happy bunnies right about now. As you can see there, Mu's army vastly outnumbers uh, Shren's in minerals, but it's not very tech-heavy army. He needs to uh, get a few more Vikings, a few more Medivacs, and, um, but he is ahead in supply. He's got a bigger army, and this could be a very, uh, Ooh, the Colossus very dangerous... The Colossus weren't quite with him there. It could be a dangerous engagement for either of them, depending mm. on how the force fields go down and what position they're in. It means going pure bio is very positional-based. He needs to watch out for this Colossus if he gets caught on that ramp. Yeah, especially if the rock's there. Mm. I mean, if he comes halfway up the ramp, it'll be an oh, absolute see. disaster. Oh, oh, don't get oh, oh that's no, a very that's nice exactly what we were talking about. So the uh, Viking's doing a good job of shooting down this Colossus, but I don't think he's going to be quick enough before the bio melts. Ooh, wowie. Just get a better camera angle in on that. And it does actually look like Moot is going to be winning this engagement. Smashing through the army wow. value of Mu is just insanely bigger now than Shrent, and he needs to be worried. It's 59 flights, 113. Absolutely. So we have some shenanigans going on here. Oh, that is Zealot taking out quite a lot of Mu's stuff. And just quite a lot of that. We'll, do a window. we'll do a window. We'll do a window. Hooray! Awesome. And ooh, here is Mu. Pushing into Shuren's natural right about now. Again, Shuren's still savagely warp, um, chrono boosting his warp gates out. The Colossus eats some shit. The combat factory has landed. <laughs> yeah, the combat factory has landed. It is doing all it can to aid the battle by just sitting there at the moment. Doesn't like the Nexus is going to go down. This looks like a very, very a big blow for Shuren. He's got a dark shrine on the way, and you know, when you're in trouble, you go DTs. It can work, but. I don't think he's going to, he can't stop him pushing all the way into his base and what the bow's placed on the outside of his base. Absolutely. They're going to get torn down and there's not as much rain can do about it. I think maybe this may be a GG in Moo's favour. Well, we've got to see how the DTs go. If he's been uh, mulling correctly, which I think Moo, he's been very on top of his mules. Yeah. Um, you never know. I think the, D the DT shrine just finished just then. But does oh, it like a pro pro train? Ring? It's a. Uh, oh. Maybe an evacuation? <laughs> Maybe. I think they might be going to the third, which is very, very, well, not saturated, is one way of putting it. And oh, again, there are those force fields that almost, almost help move. Oh, wow, and the Vikings there landed for a little bit before deciding to lift off in face of an immortal. I think I'm taking this out. It's not too much that Shane can do. 
to 28 supply to 137. I don't think the DTs can save them now. Yeah, I don't think he's actually walked in anything. Unless these are some money. No. Yeah, I don't think he's got any money, unfortunately. And this looks There's like one a Dark Templar walking in now. I think that's why he transferred all of those probes down to the third, just to try and get some minerals together to get those DTs out. But I just died in it. Chrono boosting single gateway. Here is the Dark Templar with one weapon upgrade going through savagely butchering all of the Oh, there's another one here. Just Mew, does Mu even notice? He must notice. He must have noticed by now, yeah. But he's just been so on top of his uh so on top of his mule. There's the scan and he gets the Dark Templar. And he looks like he's gonna put the temple on right now. I mean, is this gonna go down to buildings? <laughs> uh, because there is the Mogi G from Shiran right now, I mean... Templar coming back in. No, he doesn't look like he's got any scans yet. He's retreating. Oh, the... The combat factory went down. Oh. And there is a CGG from Shiran and a GG from Mu. Very polite plays. Good times all round. And there's a nice little action shot to finish it off on. Oh, cool. All right. Was that a nice game from Moo? That was a nice game from Moo. Very he held the nice. four gate very well. Yep. He went on a good push, killed some probes off, because otherwise Shrem would have been a bit ahead. Yeah. And it was just a very, made some very nice decisions. Engaged properly, really nice positioning on the map, used the map to his advantage. And, Absolutely, um, yeah. I think it, it was a good game all round, really. Indeed, not to downplay Shrem at all. He played very well, but he did, he got caught out a bit position with the uh, with the Colossi. And yeah, yeah. I mean, Moo was on top of it. He was. He was, he was on his game, I think. I've, I've, I've never seen or watched Moo before. I hope to cast him again. Indeed, yes. It was fun. Put out some very, uh, very good play. Mm, especially, I really liked his breakout. That yes, was, that, that was, was sick, sick pincer. It was good. Mm. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Um, suppose have a nice day. Yeah, mm, that, that will do. Or a nice evening, depending on what time it is where you are. Or morning. Hmm. There we go. Covered all the bases. <laughs> Covered all the bases. That's Lovely. right. All three of them. All right, guys. Well, thanks again. And we will hopefully see you guys next time. See you guys next time. Cheers.